Minister. General failures in the health service are a great concern to us all in this House. When it affects children, it is doubly concerning. And the services are defective for children with disabilities is extremely hard to stomach. And this Government Minister continues, continues to fall short on delivering for children with disabilities. Long waiting lists and waiting times seem to be embedded in the system, undermining the whole basis of area intervention policies. We have had promises in Budget 2019, we had promises in 2018 about filling um, therapy posts and various other posts to deal with the huge waiting lists for children with disabilities. But unfortunately, only a fraction of those uh, places have been filled. My colleagues and Deputy, Deputy Donnelly has outlined the national situation, and you know the, the figures nationally are frightening. And you know Deputy Smith has outlined it for Cabin Monaghan, and obviously I'm going to focus on Tipperary. In South Tipperary, we have 49 children whose assessments of needs is overdue, and in North Tipperary, there are 134 children whose assessments for needs is overdue. When you compare these numbers to similar-sized counties, Tipperary is way down the list. And my only conclusion is that Tipperary is again being forgotten about when it comes to health care. That's 200 families in my county who have a child that their teacher or GP are concerned about and suspect that there may be some disability at play. But they are expected to languish for up to three years before they even receive a proper diagnosis. And the chances you know, of those children reaching the full potential is greatly hindered by that delay. And you know, that is the greatest crisis, Minister of All, that these children are being denied their chance to fulfil their potential. And this government is, you know, is, has to, at this stage, after being nearly a decade in power, has to be responsible for that.